Hi, in this video, we're going to look at identifying graphs and given equations. Our first problem asks which graph represents y equals 5 times 2 thirds to the x power. So what I want to do is I want to use my graphing calculator to graph this equation and then just compare and see which graph matches. So in my Inspire, it says to press menu on this, so I'm going to get myself a graph screen so I can either arrow to it or press number 2. Oops, menu, add a graph, there we go. And I can see it has f of x equals, we're doing y equals, but that's okay. I'm going to do 5 times 2 thirds, which is 2 divided by 3 times and then to get that x in the exponent position, next to where we would normally hit the square button to put a square up there, to the left of that we have this little up arrow. We're going to click that and that's where we're going to put the x. So I can see I have 5 times 2 thirds to the x power. Then I'm going to hit enter and I just want to select the graph that matches my representations. So I can see, I'm going to move this out of the way. I can see it's a downward sloping graph, so that means immediately I am going to eliminate the ones that are not downward sloping. So downward, downward, but see this one here is going up to the right, this one's going up to the right, so I can immediately say it's definitely not B and it's definitely not D. So then another thing I can check is where do we intercept the Y axis? Here and here. So notice I'm intercepting at one way down low here and I'm intercepting it looks like one two three four five here so then when I look at my graph over here one two three four five I can see that a is going to be my correct answer because it has the correct y-intercept unlike number C or letter C I suppose all right let's go look at our second practice problem the next one the linear graph or the graph of a linear function is shown on the grid so I can see I have this positive sloping line going up and to the right. Which function is best represented by the graph? Okay, so when I look at this one and I want to check which one of these graphs is going to match this, I can see it's going uphill. So I know that if I'm going to do elimination, I know it's not going to be any of the ones that have a negative. So I know I can eliminate A because that's going to go downhill because I have a negative 4 thirds X. Um, that's the only one that has a negative in front of the slope. So I, that's the only one I can eliminate doing that. So now there's two options. We can either um, look at our Y intercept and say, oh, okay, it should have a plus 2 somewhere. And so I see a plus 2, but we've already eliminated this one. So we're not worried about this one. I see a plus 2 on this one. I see a positive 2x on this one, but it's 2 with the x, so that means that's the slope, not the y-intercept. So it's not this one, and this one doesn't have a plus 2 on it at all, so we have to be C. Just to check, we can come over to our graphing calculator, and we can select this graph and actually just delete that out, and try typing in C and look to see if the graphs match. So 3 fourths times X or 3 fourths X plus 2. So when I graph 3 fourths X plus 2, I can see that it's going th through the 2, which this is doing, and then when I look on the X axis, one, two, it's going between the two and the three over here. So when I look over here between the two and the three, that is where we're crossing over here. So this graph does match letter C. C is my correct answer. D is not correct and B is not correct. Okay. Another solution, you could just grab all of them and just see which one matches. Okay. Number three, the graph of the quadratic function is shown on the grid. So here I have this downward opening parabola. So since I have a downward opening parabola, I know in front of my x squared, I should have a negative term. So I'm going to eliminate a, because in front of x squared I have a positive one. And I need to have a negative in order for it to open downward. I'm gonna eliminate c, because I have a positive one in front of my x squared. So I need a negative in front of x squared. B has my negative, D has my negative, so I want to graph them and see which one is going to match 
this graph. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to first graph negative x squared, negative x squared, minus 3x, minus 3x, plus 4. All right, when I graph that, I can see it is opening downward, and then it's crossing at 1, and it's crossing at negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it has my correct um, intercepts, and it appears to be the correct graph. It looks like it's going higher, but notice on your graphing calculator, our y-axis stops at 6.67, and if you look at where the top of this graph is, it's pretty close to 6.67. So that makes sense. If you're not 100% sure if B is your correct answer, you can always come over and graph D and see what happens. So if I change this, the only difference in the two equations is I have a minus 3x here and a plus 3x here. So if I come over and I change this to a plus 3x, Let's see how our graph changes. Notice the whole thing shifted to the right, so kind of reflected. And now I have different intercepts on my x-axis. So D, we know, is not the correct answer either, and B is my correct answer. Okay? Hopefully this has helped. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask your teacher or your tutor. Thank you so much for watching.